What's going on everybody? Kenny Lips here with another Mega Man X Action coverage video. It's been a little while since last time I did one of these because the last few events uh, I felt like didn't really need me to particularly go over them. But today we're taking a look at the latest event, the Summer Treasure Hunt High Difficulty Stage. So let's get into this. All right, so for this stage, I'm gonna be using Marino, the military buster, and the crushing spray gun for my cards. I'm gonna be using two bats and one copy of Marino. Uh, one of my bats is gonna be five star, the other is the other one's gonna be not at five star. And uh, yeah, that's just it for my setup. So let's get into this stage. So starting off into the stage, it's pretty full. We're gonna jump on the surfboard here and traverse. Uh, I really just go down the slide. I think there's any reason where you don't need to take them all out. Uh, I take out a few of them. Um, just kind of because I wanted the way to be a bit clearer, but also because of the, the daily mission. Now, right here, I make a mistake. Um, I get this area confused with the next area, and after I dash forward a little bit, I realized, I was like, hey, wait a minute, uh, I need to go back because I confused the, the two spots. So what you want to do there is you actually want to go on the upper path, uh, because the upper path has the seashell, which we're going to need, which is the, the hidden element for this baby you see right here. Uh, I need to pick up seven of those to get the three-star rating, and you know, the maximum amount of point output for that. So then we'll get that, and then we're good to proceed on with the stage. And now here is where you want to drop down first, right? Because now we're in a forced battle section. You just want to take out these enemies here, and after you do that, uh, you're able to proceed, and you want to go over here, and you jump over the spikes because they can hurt you. Uh, might not be that big of a deal in the long run, but if you're playing a high difficulty stage and you're a little bit underpowered, the spike damage might be pretty relevant. Uh, but yeah, after that, you can get the next seashell. And then up here on this path, we just want to go to the bottom path right here, grab this seashell. And uh, that's it for that. So now we're just going to head up top here on the upper path and make our way over to the next cliff. Messed up my dash on the first one there, so just pretend <laughs> that that didn't happen. And right here, uh, you can go upwards to get a um, to get a seashell, but um, I remember that I forgot one down below, so that I jumped down. And you want to be careful here because this area is filled with spikes, and you can just take damage on your while you're falling down because the platform is moving. And I believe the platform is not in the right place because I'd already crossed like the little threshold there for that. Um, but then you're just going to come all the way to the top here, grab this seashell right here. That is going to be number six. And then we have one more to grab, which will actually be right in our way, uh, right up here. And I messed up my jump here again because, or my dash rather, sorry, not my jump. And once we finally get up here, we got the last seashell. There's another force battle section here. And once we complete that, we'll be good to go. All right, so now here we are going over to the last portion and I mess up my dash once again here because I don't know, man. I, I like I've just been going through it with the stage right now, I guess. Anyway, after we uh, get over there, you can go into the teleporter and we fight the boss, the Summer Mammoth. Now, Summer Mammoth is basically the same as Flame Mammoth. So if you know how to fight Flame Mammoth, you know how to fight Summer Mammoth. Uh, I didn't really go over the attacks here because he's like I said, he's basically the same as Flame Mammoth that you fight in the story. And I believe in, in co-op in the boss army as well. So I just try to make quick work of this by uh, using military buster, using the C slasher, and um, you know, just make use of my skills. And he can actually inflict uh, defense crush on you, so you might want to be careful of that because then you'll end up taking a little bit more damage than you think you will. But after that, we are done with the stage, and um, that's going to be it for the stage with the three star rating as well. Alright, real quick, I just want to show this screen just to you know show that I got the three star rating for the S rank on that. And that's it for this stage this time. Uh, I think it's pretty pretty straightforward here um, for the finding these hidden elements. But I put this together anyway just in case anyone is having trouble looking for them. And and I know some people say they're like you know I, I always wait for your videos before I go do the stage. So I I don't want to leave some people like kind of out in the dark. But here I'm just going to show off the prizes or like the 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 prize box that we have going on here. Just hit the point threshold and you get the, uh, the prizes. And for this one, there's two cards. You have a Mammoth card and the Swimsuit Operator Trio. I believe is the card. I might have said the wrong card, but I flash it on the screen so you'll see what I'm talking about. And that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Help the channel has to go show me you enjoying the content. 
And I'd like to throw a quick shout out to my um, patrons and uh, people who support me as my YouTube channel members. Thank you for supporting me, allowing me to do what I do. And um, yeah, that's it for this video, and I'll catch you guys next time. Later.